Fedora Silverblue is a variant of the Fedora operating system that is characterized by its initiative approach for software management and system configuration. Here are some of the key features of Fedora Silverblue you can expect. Let's give it a start. Fedora Silverblue presents an exciting perspective of the Fedora operating system by focusing on immutability, advanced system management and modern software deployment. With an immutable system kernel based on OS3 technology, Fedora Silverblue enables atomic updates and facilitates rollbacks promoting system stability. The use of Flatpak packages for applications and the integration of container technologies provide a consistent and isolated environment. Fedora Silverblue is aimed particularly at developers who benefit from the stability and developer friendliness while at the same time ensuring a modern workstation experience for everyday use. Now let's check out what makes Fedora Silverblue so special. Immutable system. Fedora Silverblue uses the concept of unchangeable system. This means that the core of the operating system cannot be modified directly. This immutability promotes stability and security as the system is less susceptible to unintentional changes. OS3 technology. Fedora Silverblue is based on the OS3 technology. OS3 enables the efficient management of system updates. The file system is organized in tree structure, which makes it easier to revert the system to a previous version if an update caused problems. Atomic updates and rollbacks. System updates in Fedora Silverblue are performed atomically. This means that the updates are considered as a whole and can either be fully applied or rolled back. This approach increases the reliability and makes it easy to revert to a previous system version. Flatpak applications. Applications in Fedora Silverblue are installed and executed using the Flatpak format. Flatpak allows applications to be isolated, minimizing conflicts between different application dependencies. This promotes system stability and enables a consistent application environment. Container support. The integration of container technology plays an important role. Developers can use containers to isolate applications with their specific dependencies. This facilitates the deployment of applications and ensure a consistent execution environment. Developer friendliness. The immutability of the system and the use of container technologies make Fedora Silverblue particularly developer friendly. Developers can work reliably on a consistent platform and develop applications in an isolated environment. Focus on workstation experience. Fedora Silverblue is designed to provide a modern desktop experience. The user interface is designed for ease of use and comes with the latest desktop environments and applications. Let's check the advantages of Fedora Silverblue. Fedora Silverblue provides a stable and consistent environment through the introduction of atomic updates. This approach ensures that system updates are applied as a whole, minimizing the risk of incompatibilities and system failures. By implementing a read-only root file system, a stable and reproducible system configuration is enabled, resulting in a reliable operating environment. The use of containers for the isolated execution of application improves system integrity and security. Developers benefit from Silverblue's user-friendly environment. The provision of a development toolbox creates an isolated development environment that allows developers to utilize the different development tools without impacting the base system. Flatpak support facilitates application installation and dependency management, contributing to consistent deployment. Integrated support for Kubernetes makes the development and deployment of containerized applications seamless. In terms of security and robustness, Silverblue offers increased security by running applications in isolated containers. The atomic rollback feature enables a quick return to a previous stable system state in the event of errors. Transparent updates increase the system availability and minimize downtime. Let's check the disadvantages of Fedora Silverblue. 
A potential disadvantage of Fedora Silverblue is the learning curve for newcomers. The introduction of new concepts such as the container base and atomic update strategy requires a certain amount of familiarization. Advanced users may experience limitations in customizing and configuring the system due to read-only file systems. The reliance on Flatpak as the main method of application installation may take some getting used for users who are used to other package managers. Another possible disadvantage is the limited choice of software. Not all applications are yet available as Flatpak, which could limit the choice for users. The use of containers can lead to a slight increase of resource consumption, especially if many containers are running simultaneously. There is also potential limited hardware support, especially for non-open source hardware drivers. These may not work seamlessly with Silverblue due to containerization. Advanced users who prefer extensive customization options may find the read-only nature of the file system limiting. Let's talk about Silverblue as a representative of transactional distros because what comes next is not just limited to Silverblue. Of course, some people are now asking themselves whether or what sense it makes to switch to such a distro or whether this is even practical for the desktop. The answer is yes with a big but and a clear no from my opinion. Yes, it is basically desktop compatible. We can install GNOME extensions, which is perhaps one of the burning questions for many. So customizing the desktop is possible. Let's come to the big but, because the quantity of apps in FlatHub is not the same as in the native RPM package source of the regular Fedora Workstation Edition. I dare to doubt. So, if the respective app is not available in FlatHub, it looks that bad. The RSS reader quite RSS comes to my mind spontaneously. It's not available on FlatHub. And now we come to my big no why it makes not sense for the desktop, at least for me at the moment. If I install updates, I have to restart the system to make them active. With the classic distros, in this case Fedora 39 Workstation, updates affecting the operating system can also be installed, which do not require a system reboot to take effect immediately. With Silverblue, a reboot is required every time. Other KO criterion could be drivers that the Linux kernel does not provide by default. This can quickly lead to undocumented scenarios. Now you have to decide whether the new technology is worth the stress or not. The fact is, with the regular Fedora workstation, you have no disadvantage compared to Silverblue, but rather advantages. And as long as the advantages of a classic distro outweigh transactional distros, I see no reason to change. So in a nutshell, Yes, it is suitable for practical use with certain limitations. This is all subject to the premise that a reason can be found to justify its use in practice. Fedora Silverblue represents a fascinating evolution of the Linux operating system combining innovative concepts and proven technologies. The use of container-based architectures and atomic updates sets it apart from conventional operating systems and brings both advantages and some challenges. One clear advantage is the creation of a stable and consistent environment. Atomic updates minimize the risk of incompatibilities and system errors. The combination with a write protected file system promotes a reliable and reproducible system configuration. The use of containers isolates applications, which improve system integrity and security. These features make Silverblue particularly attractive for some users who depend on a reliable and stable operating system. The developer friendliness of Silverblue is further strengthened by the provision of a development toolbox and the integration of Flatpak. Developers can work in an isolated environment without affecting the base system. Support for Kubernetes facilitates the development and deployment of containerized applications, which is beneficial for modern development practices. The security aspect of Silverblue are also remarkable. The execution of applications in containers minimizes the risk of security vulnerabilities, while the atomic rollback feature enables rapid recovery in the event of errors. Transparent updates increase system availability and minimize downtime. 
However, despite these advantages, there are some challenges. The learning curve for newcomers could be high due to the introduction of new concepts such as atomic updates and containers. The limited software choice and possible hardware compatibility issues could affect some users. Advanced users may feel limited by the read-only nature of the file system. Overall, Fedora Silverblue is an exciting option for users looking for stability, security and a modern development platform. It provides a robust foundation for applications and encourages the use of container-based technologies. With support and further development from the Fedora community, it remains a promising operating system that could influence the future of Linux distributions. Fedora Silverblue is one of the renowned approaches for transactional Linux distributions, but is not the only offering. Direct competitors in this field include OpenSUSE MicroOS, Ubuntu Core and NixOS. The concept is currently still in its infancy and does not yet have any significant distribution, let's say market share, within the Linux community. The advantages and disadvantages speak for themselves. Many users feel that they are locked out from their system if, for example, the root partition is write protected. Windows and macOS have been pursuing a similar concept for some time. It remains to be seen whether this concept will prevail for Linux in the medium and long term or whether it will take one more of a supplementary role in the future. What do you think about? Just write your opinion in the comments. Thank you for the kind attention, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, please leave a free channel subscription and activate the bell. Thanks. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Thank you.